Let us not beat around the bush. What we are seeking is disclosure. You will recall that the Kian farmers, specifically the BSEFA, had requested to be SI before to kindly inform them as to how much sugar was sold to fair trade. Under the flow search regulations, the manual, it said that BSI ought to have reported to BSEFA, I think twice per year, how much sugar is being sold as fair trade sugar. BSI responded saying, I don't need to give you that information. Although in the flow search manual it's saying so. But we couldn't force them. We could not force them to tell the BSEFA how much fair share sugar was sold. He's saying to you, okay, you, you want your license? Just tell us, tell us what are the premiums and benefits due to each certified producer. You see, it's asking for disclosure. And that is, that is the reason, in my view, why BSI is opposing this. Because it's simply asking for you to disclose who you sell the sugar to at prices and who are the beneficiaries, which they were not able to tell the BSEFA farmers. BSI says that the regulation is, quote, retrograde, unnecessary, burdensome, and discriminatory. What do you make of that? Everybody who sells sugar has to abide by this regulation. It's not discriminatory. It's Cruz and and the other people who export sugar. But it's specifically targeted to... ASR, BSI, as you mentioned. In the case that they have not paid premiums to the farmers, yes. But if you pay the premiums to the farmers, everybody has to meet the same conditions. But then would it be fair to say that this regulation that's going to be introduced in the House, I think, Friday, was prompted with the situation of ASR, BSI, and BSCFA in terms of that fair trade sugar? You can say that. So would then be correct to say that ASR, BSI is saying that it's discriminatory? You're targeting them. No, no. Whoever is not doing things the right way will be affected. If it is something there, they'll be affected. All this is asking is to disclose what you're doing.